Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you an introduction to the alligator. Um, essentially, the alligator is a triple filtered gate. Uh, what it has is it has a pattern section which uh, has 60, 64 different patterns that you can select with the selector here. Um, and it's also got, um, you can turn on the pattern which then lights up the gates. This uh, tells you that the gates are being triggered also trigger that by clicking the button um, or you can trigger it through CV by uh, connecting to the CV inputs here on these three gates uh, it has a resolution knob so you can make the pattern go a little faster or a little a little faster going this way at 132 then it's got 1 16th triplet 1 16th 1 8th triplet and 1 8th so those are the resolutions uh, you can shift the pattern slightly um, and the shift goes in semitones, I believe. Um, and it shifts the pattern over, either forward or backward. Uh, it has an amp envelope here with attack, um, decay, and release. It also has a filter section, which you can turn on by clicking these lights. And the three filters, um, essentially what it's doing is it's sending your audio from the Thor, and I'll just, uh, we'll just hear it. It's on. Why is it not sounding? Hmm. Because I haven't set it up. That's why. Okay. So let's do a note and the gate. And uh, so then what ha what's happening is um, your signal that's getting sent from the Thor is being sent into the pattern and then into the gates. And uh, while well, the pattern does affect the gates, but basically it's being sent through the gates, then it's getting sent to the filter. Uh, this It's going through the LFO. Then um, it's using this is the frequency for the filter. Then this is the resonance for the filter. And then this is the envelope for the filter. And the filter envelope can be affected here. So this filter envelope section affects these envelopes. This amp envelope section affects the actual gates, so the way that the signal is going through. And you've got three different filters. So your signal is split into three different filters. It's split through a high pass filter, a band pass filter, and a low pass filter. Then it goes through all of these um, filter parameters and then into the effects. So it's going into the drive, then the phaser, then the delay, and then it goes to the mixer section here. The mixer section can be panned, so you can pan the, the signal any which way you want, left or right in the stereo field. And then you've got the volume control for each filter. And then finally it goes out into um, and mixed back down again into one signal, which um, you can control the volume with this knob right here, the master volume knob. You also have the ability to send the dry signal through and to duck the signal, to pan that signal, and to affect to turn the volume up on the dry signal. Uh, that's essentially what it is. Uh, you've also got underneath here, you've got the delay settings, so you can f set the time for your delay. The time could be synced or unsynced. Um, you've got the feedback, um, the panning for your delay, which is interesting because you can send the delay um, to a specific area of your stereo field left or right, which is nice, nice little bonus. I don't think you can do that with many of the other, any of the other units. Well, you can, um, but it's a nice, um, concept to include it in here. You also have the phaser settings so you can affect the phaser rate or the phaser feedback. That's it in a nutshell. Um, if you play it through Thank <laughs> you.
Hilfe. That's a quick introduction to what the alligator can do. Um, if you can turn it, if you turn it over to the other side, um, I'll just remove this for now. You'll notice that there's three CV uh, gate inputs, um, so you can use, let's say, a matrix to send um, to create the gate, op the openings and the closings of the gates. Um, you also have uh, the frequency inputs for the low low pass, band pass, and high pass frequencies. So you can change your frequency, you can modulate your frequency over time um, to uh, either go up or down. Uh, you also have an LFO rate input, so you can affect the LFO rate over time via some other modulation, like let's say you could send um, I don't know, you could send a matrix curve, for example, into there. You can send a maelstrom waveform into that to affect it over a spe specific uh, time frame. Um, then you have the CV outputs. Uh, in, in this way you can take the predefined, the 64 predefined patterns that are contained in the alligator and send those patterns out to uh, affect other things. And in another video that I have up and coming, I'm going to show you how to do that um, and how this can be very beneficial. Um, in this way, you've already got a pattern bank of 64 patterns with the alligator, so there's no need to create a, a bunch of different matrix patterns um, and fiddle with those when you can just steal from the alligator. Uh, you also have an LFO CV output, which means that um, any of the LFOs inside the alligator can be used to modulate other parameters in other reason devices. And then you have um, the three audio splits for these uh, different filters, meaning that if I wanted to just take Thor and send it through the bandpass filter, um, I can do that uh, by sending it to the, that's what I have to do, send it to the input and then take the output this way. So now what I'm doing is I'm sending Thor just through the, uh, the middle bandpass filter and we can just hear how that sounds. course we have to set up the note again. So now you only hear the middle filter. And in this way you don't have to use all three all the time. You can just use one. So that's
that's how that works. And of course, you've got the main inputs and main outputs, and that pretty much sums up the alligator. So it looks pretty complicated, but um, it's a lot of fun to experiment with. And you know, the more knobs and buttons that you have on a device, the more fun it is to play around and see what it can do. So stay with me, and I'll put together a couple other uh, tutorials and a few new videos showing you some very specific things that you can do with the alligator um, to help you out in your songs. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Rob, and you can come visit me at reason101.net. Thanks for watching.